The NFL Draft is less than a few months away, and the best prospect in it by far is former Heisman winner and Trojan superstar Caleb Williams. Now the thing about Caleb is that not only is he a generational talent, but any NFL front office executive or even NFL coach will tell you this man is the real deal. He has been projected to go number one overall in this draft for the past two years now. The only question is, what team is taking a chance and drafting Caleb Williams? You see, in most cases, it would just be the team with the number one overall pick. However, this year is a bit different considering that the Chicago Bears own the number one overall pick via the Carolina Panthers, which means they weren't the worst team in the NFL. Sure, were they among the bottom? Yes, but you know, the Chicago Bears aren't the worst team in the NFL and aren't quite desperate enough to draft Caleb Williams outright. And with that being the case, there is potential for the Chicago Bears to trade out of the number one overall pick and potentially give another franchise their opportunity to find their savior in Caleb Williams. Now, the problem arises in Chicago because they currently have Justin Fields. He's played three seasons in the NFL so far. He was drafted with the 11th pick in the 2021 draft, and he's proven to show some, you know, potential over those first three seasons. But the question is, is he really better than what Caleb Williams could be? Now, this is a question that has the Chicago front office freaking out because this makes or breaks jobs. This decision is what can change a franchise's history for the next decade plus. Now, obviously, Chicago is one of the potential landing spots for Caleb Williams. Hell, it may even be the most likely landing spot depending on who you ask. But me personally, I believe it is in the Bears' best interest to stick with Justin Fields, trade out of the first overall pick, get as many assets as you can, and you know, build through the draft because that is what's best for this team. And they have a ton of cap space going in to free agency. So I don't believe they need to worry about paying some of their players, you know, because the question is, well, they could just draft Caleb Williams right now, you know, use his rookie contract to build a really good team. But why would they do that when they could potentially get a bunch of draft capital? So who's to say the Bears can't do that with this draft class? And by no means am I saying that there are a lack of quarterback needy teams in the NFL right now. Because I believe two thirds of the league easily, happily, would take Caleb Williams on their roster right now over whoever they have at the quarterback position. All right, and so I want to list out a number of teams who I believe have the assets and are willing to trade for that first overall pick. Because if there's one thing I can guarantee you in this draft class, it's that whoever has the first pick in this year's draft is selecting Caleb Williams. Now, the first team that I want to mention are the Washington Commanders. Currently, they have Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett as their quarterbacks. It's been pretty what messy in Washington. They just fired their head coach, Ron Rivera. He was kind of going crazy. Maybe he was just getting up there in age, but he did say a lot of questionable things to the media last year. He was bound to go. Yeah, his time was done, especially with new ownership in Washington, basically over for him. And so with this new ownership group in Washington, I'm pretty sure they want to go out and select their own guy. And with them only having the second pick, they can't really do that because this team wants Caleb Williams. Maybe they'll settle for Drake May, but everybody wants Caleb Williams. And they have one of the most cap space in the NFL going into free agency. So they've got money to spend, all right? So they can easily build a pretty good team around Caleb Williams. Hell, more free agents are more likely to pursue Washington if they have a franchise quarterback in Caleb Williams there. I believe whoever drafts Williams will have a much easier time persuading free agents to head to their team because you know what? Every NFL player wants the opportunity to win a Super Bowl, all right? Most, you know, want money, but of course, the real superstars who have already gotten paid, they just want to win a Super Bowl. And they know they have a chance to do that 
when they see a really good quarterback on their roster. All right, now another team I want to mention are the New England Patriots, who currently sit at third in this year's draft. Now, the thing about them is they have just let go of Bill Belichick. They both decided to mutually part ways. That led to Gerard Mayo being a first-time head coach. And the thing about the Patriots is that it comes down to what does Robert Kraft want to do at the end of the day? He is their owner. They haven't been good since Tom Brady left the organization all those years ago. And he has a real opportunity here to draft a franchise guy in Caleb Williams or even maybe Drake May. And yet he sits on the outside looking in with the third overall pick. Because with two QB needy teams that are obviously going to be in front of him, I doubt that one of those superstar draft prospects at the quarterback position in Drake May or Caleb Williams falls to the Patriots at number three. So if they want one of the top end quarterbacks in this year's draft, they're going to need to make a move. And again, this is another team with a bunch of cap space. I think you can see the trend here. All right. Now, do I believe the Patriots are the type of organization to make the moves necessary to acquire the first or second overall pick? Hell no. If we look at all of NFL history, whatever team decides to trade for the first overall pick and give up a ton of assets, whether it be in, you know, draft picks or in players, is usually on the losing side of this deal. Hell, we can look at just last season when the Carolina Panthers decided to trade up to the first overall pick with the Chicago Bears, and in return, the Bears got the ninth overall pick that year. They got a superstar in DJ Moore at receiver, and they got several other draft picks. One of them just so happened to be the first overall pick this year. So, like I said, whoever trades away the first overall pick is likely going to be the winner in the deal. Because who did the Panthers draft? Bryce Young? Yeah, how did that turn out for them? What, three wins on the season? Enough about that. Let's get to the fourth and final team I want to talk about. The Atlanta Falcons, okay? They've just fired their head coach, Arthur Smith. The FedEx man is out of town. And hopefully, now the talent in Atlanta will be able to thrive because they've got a ton of offensive tools that I believe would be great for Caleb Williams. I'm talking B. John Robinson, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, all of whom were pretty underutilized in this Arthur Smith system. Now that Raheem Morris is there, maybe things will change in Atlanta. This ownership group is desperate to put a good team on the field. They've had Desmond Ritter at quarterback for far too long. He's been given too long of a leash, and that's because they've had no other option. With the first pick potentially being available, they need to make their move now, all right? But anyway, that's about it for this video. I really just wanted to cover the potential landing spots for Caleb Williams because it isn't every year you get someone of this talent, of this magnitude being in the NFL draft, let alone being available to just about anybody in this league, all right? Catch y'all later. Much love. Peace.